So I am going to show a large skin cancer. If you do not want to see that, swipe away. So this skin cancer here is a squamous cell carcinoma. It is a non-melanoma skin cancer. And I know a lot of people think of non-melanoma skin cancers as being small, being easily treated, but especially squamous cell carcinomas can become quite aggressive as they get larger and accumulate different high aggressive features. So one thing that we notice about this skin cancer, it's quite large. This is his scalp and you can see it's taking up a decent portion of the scalp. So when tumors get to be bigger than a quarter, about two centimeters, we start to worry about their ability to actually spread elsewhere, spread to the lymph nodes, spread inside the body, um, as well as have a high recurrence rate after treatment. This tumor in particular had some other aggressive features besides being four centimeters, again, quite large in the realm of non-melanoma skin cancers, it also had some tumor that was going into the nerves. What that means is that even that with a surgical treatment, sometimes little bits of tumor can be kind of traveling along a little, almost like a little train on the nerves to get further away from the site that's being treated. The treatment for these is not just your traditional Mo surgery or um, excisional surgery, but these patients with these aggressive types of skin cancer often need other treatments. They need other imaging to check their lymph nodes. Um, they may need sampling of the lymph nodes. They may need removal of the lymph nodes. They may need radiation. And sometimes they even need other um, chemotherapies or immunotherapies in order to get the best outcomes. Um, they do have a relatively high rate of recurrence as well as morbidity and mortality. So they do need to be taken seriously um, and seen by a multidisciplinary team at um, a tertiary hospital so that they're, you're getting really appropriate state-of-the-art care. Again, with skin cancers, early is best when you catch them nice and small. They're very treatable, very curable for the most part for these non-melanoma skin cancers like squamous cell. So anything that's been around for six to eight weeks, a little bump, a little pimple, maybe it's bleeding, hurting, rapidly growing, um, even itching can sometimes be a sign of a malignancy. Uh, so again, anything that hasn't been going away in about six to eight weeks, it's important to bring it to the attention of your doctor or dermatologist to check it early, diagnose early with great outcomes.